Hey guys, it's Jasmine here and I'm back with another video. So today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about the Huda Beauty Foundation. It's called the Faux Filter Coverage Cream Foundation. Well, I didn't even realize it was called a cream. It's not a liquid, it's a cream. But anyway, so yeah, we're going to be doing my first impressions on this foundation today and see what I feel about it. I am currently wearing this foundation. This is the aftermath of what happened in the video or the clips you'll see um, soon. But before we get into like how it applied and things of that nature, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the foundation. So here is the foundation, the box, the packaging is super cute. I absolutely love it. Um, I got the shade Chocolate Mousse 450G, which G stands for golden. She has G for golden, R for red, I believe, and then N for neutral. Um, but I am pretty golden, so I got a golden shade. This is, again, the shade 450G Chocolate Mousse, and this is it here. So this is the packaging. This is not a glass bottle which a lot of people have been complaining about, that it's not a glass bottle. I personally don't mind it um, because, I mean, it's like less room to break and fall. Um, I actually like the packaging. It's pretty sleek, I feel like. Um, I think a lot of people are like wrapped up about it not being a glass bottle because a lot of leading high-end foundations that are in the same price range have a glass bottle. So it's like, what did you use the extra money on? But, I mean... If the foundation works, the foundation works. This foundation retails for $40. So it's pretty much the same as a lot of the high-end foundations like I was telling you about. Um, and you get 1.18 ounces in this. So a little bit more than your typical foundation. Normally you get like one ounce in most. So yeah, that's that. Also, the great thing about this foundation is Huda, she did come out with 30 shades, which is awesome. Um, a lot of times, companies forget about us women of color, and they just forget about that we wear foundation and need shades too. So, I mean, the new thing is foundations and having a lot of shades and coming out with a great shade range. Um, like Rihanna, she came out with 40. Huda, she just did 30, so that's really awesome. Um, I'm always going to support brands who think about us. <laughs> women of color and come out with foundations that will match us honestly so i'm going to go on the sephora website and read a little bit about what they say the foundation is and tell you how i feel so it says coverage should be full and medium um i definitely feel like this foundation is definitely full coverage um it says skin types for normal dry combination oily so it's saying it's good for anybody with oily or dry skin or normal or combination so everyone can use the foundation basically it says the finish is a satin matte radiant it's like how do you check all of those but I kind I get it I get it kind of sort of like it does it doesn't dry like before if you apply powder it does get really matte like you'll see in the video but before it is definitely like a satin matte finish like it doesn't dry completely just matte like how you would see after I put the powder on but once you set it with powder it gets super matte so it says what is it a full coverage cream foundation that visibly conceals blemishes and imperfections for a filter like finish so I personally think they did do a great job with the shade range um, just from what I've seen and then just watching people's reviews and stuff I feel like they did a pretty good job um, with the shade selection um so yeah that's about it if you want to so if you want to see my first impressions and how i actually feel while like applying the foundation and how it applies and all that stuff then just stay tuned for the next clips so we're about to try out the huda beauty um faux filter foundation and you guys know this has been really hyped up it's supposed to be like the instagram filter in a bottle but anyway so i'm gonna just go ahead and get right into it i didn't purchase the primer but in the foundation box it comes with um a little sample of the complexion perfection pre-makeup base so i am gonna try that today my face is already clean moisturized and then i'm going to prime so let's see what this is about So it does have a scent to it, but it's not too strong. Oh, I forgot I had my brows on. So this currently feels like I'm rubbing in moisturizer.
yeah it definitely feels like i'm rubbing in like some moisturizer and you guys know i do have oily skin but this is supposed to have some powder based product in it to help mattify but it feels like a moisturizer honestly but we'll see it's supposed to help um stop oils as well i read on the website but i just didn't feel like i needed another primer um so i'm interested to see if this is actually going to help so i've been having really po problematic skin like um i've been to a dermatologist and my skin has been breaking out a lot but currently i don't really have many breakouts it's just like dark spots from me popping pimples and all that stuff and then because of the topical ointments they put me on i have like a lot of dry patches down here so it's like a good test to see if it's going to cling to dry patches so i didn't get the brush either she did come out with the brush for the foundation as well but i'm going to be using my trusty beauty blender because that's how i always apply my foundation so we're going to try that so here's the foundation and i'm going to be using the shade 450g which is chocolate mousse and the g stands for golden of course um, I'm going to do one side of my face first. Which side is? I think this side is a little worse. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to pump some and dot it on my face. Hopefully this is the right shape because I did pick this out online. I picked this out online. I didn't go in the store to see what shade I should have got. I just went based off reviews and stuff and that's probably a lot but we're gonna start blending it out and oh my god this has a smell as well like this literally it smells like roses but I mean it's pretty fragrant I mean it smells good though like I like the smell but I don't love products that smell on my face like I don't love it but hey but oh my god the coverage is bomb so this is supposed to be like a soft matte foundation oh my god i love the smell of this but like i said i do not like smells on my face so it's kind of weird for me but it smells good it smells really good So I don't know if you guys can see, but it covered up a lot of my hyperpigmentation like really well. Ah, uh, okay, Hada. You did something with this or whatever. Um, it does dry pretty quickly, so you do have to work pretty fast. But it looks so it looks pretty good. I mean, I still see a little bit of dark marks here. And I think this shape match matches me pretty good, doesn't it? But if you guys can see the difference. So I am going to put on some more to see if it's buildable. Well, we're going to see how it builds. And like I said, this does dry pretty fast, so you do have to work pretty fast. And I feel like it's very sticky. I don't know if it's the primer or the foundation. I mean, I'm not sure if it's the primer or if it's the foundation. But it is pretty sticky. It's probably the base. Oh yeah, because I don't have foundation. And it is pretty sticky. So the foundation primer is pretty sticky, which is good because it helps the makeup adhere pretty well. Um, but I'm going to say yes to the coverage. So, so I'm going to move on to the other side. And you guys see instantly how it cover up most of that ickiness that I have. I like it and I think this one match the color is a pretty good match okay 
Okay, so I added some foundation under this eye and it looks really good. As you can, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but this one has some foundation and this one does not. So now I'm going to add some to the other eye so you can see the difference. I'm kind of sort of like getting my life right now with this foundation. Like it's kind of popping. Let's see. yes i'm here for it so as i'm looking up close i don't see any streaks or anything some foundations can get pretty streaky especially when they dry quick and you build up the foundation you can get like streak and like splotchy marks but i don't see any of that which is awesome so now i'm gonna add some of my concealer on top to see how it'll this will be the two true test like if it actually like blends out pretty well and has a good like medium working medium i guess you can say so i'm using this um tart shape tape and this is the color deep so let's see how it blends in it's blending well I would say it blended really well it didn't miss a beat honestly so now we're gonna set with some powder I'm using the Laura Mercier medium deep powder um, I'm gonna put a little bit of that under my eyes The powder is applying pretty nicely, but to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the matte mineralized skin finish in the color dark, and I'm just going to lightly dust that with a brush. Of course, what else would I use? Okay, now that I've applied my powder, it definitely... My dog is in the background he hears somebody outside so he's barking excuse that but now that i've applied my powder it's definitely looking like a matte foundation like it may not look as matte because i have the bright lights on me but looking in the mirror it's matte for sure it's matte but it still looks really good i mean i feel like i may be ready to take some instagram pics you know you know because i mean it's looking good I think I really like this foundation. I think I really do. And I think the color match matches pretty well. It'll probably be better once I contour and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to like finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back and talk some more. Okay, so I'm back. I just finished applying my um, powder and just the rest of my face, blush, highlight, contour, um, lips, and whatever. It's maybe like my new favorite foundation like seriously when i want to have instagram skin or when i need to go out to the club i'm going out clubbing you know with my girlfriends or whatever um sorry <laughs> when i'm going out or just photo shoot or about to be like somewhere in mexico or you know i mean i just may this may be my go-to foundation seriously like i'm loving it I am definitely currently here for it like if my opinion changes on this foundation I will definitely let you guys know in the description box but currently 
Alright, so that's all for this video. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, I hope it helped you decide if you wanted to get this foundation or what, or if I'm your same color and what color you need to get, whatever the case may be. I hope this video helped. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notifications. Hit that bell so that you're notified when I upload a video so you never miss a video from me. Also, if you don't mind, share this video with your friends and family or whoever, your Facebook friends. Just share my video. I would really greatly appreciate that. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking around all this time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.